नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू वॉट क्रिटिकल सेक्शन कंट्रोलर इज लेट्स लुक एट द ऑफिशियल डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रिटिकल सेक्शन कंट्रोलर इट स्टेट्स दैट द क्रिटिकल सेक्शन कंट्रोलर इंश्योर्स दैट इट्स चिल्ड्रन एलिमेंट्स सैम्पलर्स कंट्रोलर्स एट्सेट्रा विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड बाई ओनली वन थ्रेड एज अ नेम ब्लॉक विल बी टेकन बिफोर एग्जीक्यूटिंग चिल्ड्रन ऑफ कंट्रोलर दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल कंट्रोलर This is a screenshot of the control panel of critical section controller, and uh, the figure below shows an example of using critical section controller. In the figure below, section critical section controller ensures that DS2, which is this thread, is executed by only one thread at a time, and DS4 is executed by only one thread at a time. So, uh, let's uh, have a look at critical section controller. when it comes to um, the test plan creation okay so here i have a critical section controller in place it's a thread group under that thread group i have a transaction controller under that transaction controller there is a debug sampler with the thread number and there is a constant timer of 300 milliseconds then i have put the critical section controller the way to do that is right click on the test plan and add uh controller so under that uh, critical section controller there is again another debug uh, sampler where i have added the thread number again and then i have put a constant timer over here so currently the constant timer for critical section controller is 5000 let's make it 300 because it is 300 for uh the transaction controller as well so i save this i have put a view results tree over here and now we will run it see the uh, transaction controller uh, or let uh, let me change the um, this time to 5000 so that you will see the difference okay so coming to view results tree i uh, clear the results and now i run it again so now you will see transaction controller executes almost in parallel it the execution is in parallel while as in debug sampler uh, for critical section controller one sampler is executed at one single time and only after completion of that sampler the second uh, thread is taken into consideration so it is executed one thread at a time and i gave the gap of uh, 5000 milliseconds just to show you the difference even after having a gap of 300 millisecond these five threads executed almost immediately while as this uh this took some time between the executions and that is how a critical section controller works so that's about it for the critical section controller If you want to know more details about the critical section controller you can go and um, check the official uh, site of uh, jmeter.apache.org so that's about it for the critical section controller thank you